All right, so as Joe Biden's uh, disastrous trip through the Middle East is continuing, and as he prepares to meet with the Saudi crown prince in the coming days to beg for oil and get them to sign off on his idiotic Iranian deal, the White House has been silent. They won't say whether or not Joe will address the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi and the multitude of other human rights atrocities that occur in Saudi Arabia. Remember, Joe blamed all of this, the murder, on the Saudi crown prince before promising during the 2020 campaign to make the country a, quote, pariah nation. And here's your chance, Joe. Are you going to follow through, or is this just another one of those endless broken promises? Khashoggi's widow broke her silence in an emotional interview with our very own Bill Hemmer earlier today. Take a look. If you could be there, what would you tell MBS? I will tell him you will regret if you know the truth about Jamal. And anyone involved in his crime, they will regret. Now, instead of committing to discussing the murder with the Saudi Crown Prince, Joe had this to say. I will bring up, I always bring up human rights. I always bring up human rights. But my position on Khashoggi has been so clear. If anyone doesn't understand it, in Saudi Arabia or anywhere else, then they haven't been around for a while. So, Joe, you're going to hold them accountable for the murder of Khashoggi or not? Are you there to beg for oil or not? What about their treatment of gays and lesbians? So what about their treatment of women? Uh, some people are put to death, punished in a number of gruesome ways, in some cases just for being gay. And what about their oppressive laws against women? Weren't even allowed to drive until 2018 or obtain their own passport until 2019. And it's not just Saudi Arabia Biden is doing business with. He's doubling down on this idiocy of reviving the Iranian nuclear deal. Now, Iran's the world number one state sponsor of terror. They boast of similar oppressive laws against women, gay people, including the death penalty if you're gay. Ask yourself, where are all the radical human right activists, all the woke people in America uh, that are Democrats? How come they're not upset that Joe is doing business with these countries? Here with Reaction, human rights attorney, executive director of the Lawfare Project, Brooke Goldstein, and Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Tammy, in a way, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm the one standing up for human rights. I always have. I would want nothing to do with any of these countries. I don't want their money. I don't want their oil. I don't even, uh, they're hostile regimes that have atrocious uh, human rights records. They, they do, and you laid it out perfectly. Many have noted that uh, the uh, changes, the small changes when it comes to women's rights in the kingdom were really made for a PR effect, that it is still very difficult in the kingdom. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, uh, the uh, uh, homosexuality is dictated by the criminal code, which is dictated by Sharia law. Uh, and and we have re recent executions of homosexuals there as well. Uh, I mean, it is horrendous, and it's, it's a protected environment in that they want to show something outside to foreign countries, while it is still repressive and horribly so internally. But this is more of a story with what you outlined regarding Joe Biden. With Biden, everything is transactional. I believe that he meant that about Khashoggi, but now look at what he's willing to do in order to keep America weak. He is willing to go to a place that is known to be a horrific abuser of human rights because his priority is to keep his own country as weak as possible. That speaks to the nature of Joe Biden in a way that I think should shock the conscience of everyone watching this program, no matter who you are. We believe in human rights because we're America. We're not perfect. But when we talk about it, when we learn about it, when we care about it, it's because we mean it. Uh, with Joe Biden and the Democrats and perhaps the establishment in general, it, this is transactional. He now wants something from Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, uh, even Russia. China, because it suits his purpose of keeping America in trouble. And that is where we're at right now. It's a horrible place. And he's now going to stand next so, to uh, this horrible dynamic in, in Saudi Arabia, because it suits him. Brooke, where are all the woke leftists in this country? Where are all the liberal activists, human rights activists in this country? Um, because their silence is deafening, and Joe is only doing it 
to appease the climate alarmist religious cult that believes it's okay to import oil but not produce it domestically. You know, you're absolutely right. We are faced now with the situation where the President of the United States has to embarrass himself because of his own policies. He had to do a 180 degree turn where he used to be calling Saudi Arabia a pariah state, saying, quote, they have to pay the price for being bad. And now he's going over there begging for oil because it is his administration that refuses to make America energy independent and it's this dual faced two faced hypocritical nature uh, diplomacy that really you know pervades uh, what's happening in the Middle East. On the one hand, you have our ally Israel. He's over there signing Jerusalem declarations, declaring that we're going to do everything we can to prevent Iran from having a nuclear weapon. And then at the same time, turning around, pushing for the Iran deal, reinstating $200 million worth of funding for the Palestinian Authority and for Hamas, a terrorist group in Gaza, allowing the pay for slave program to continue where American taxpayer dollars are going to pay terrorists who murder often Americans as well who are in Israel. So the hypocrisy is why we are losing face on a daily basis in the Middle East. And I think it's really important to add one thing. There is such an outrage over what happened with Khashoggi, and it's absolutely terrible. But where is the outrage when American citizens are killed by Palestinian terrorists and the Biden administration does absolutely nothing, continues to allow American taxpayer dollars to fund this terror administration? Brooke, thank you. Tam, uh, Tammy, as always, thank you. Straight ahead. Why is the left continuing to encourage incivility against our own Supreme Court justices? Do any of you have the courage to stand up and condemn these threats? Wait until you see what happens when Senator Elizabeth Warren was asked about it. That tape is next. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.